Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm in Novato, California on Hamilton um, Community. Used to be an Air Force base and they have an air museum here that we're going to go check out. And we're going to uh, drive around and check out some of the old abandoned military areas. But this was built and um, started building in 1932, finished in 1935. And um, on December 7th, uh, during the Pearl Harbor times, um, there were four bombers that went from this Air Force base over to Hawaii. And also it became a training base uh, during the war. So let's go see what we can discover here at the Air Museum and the whole area. All right. On the outside of the building here, they have a model of what looks like to be a P-51 Mustang. And my grandfather used to be a mechanic on those. So take a look at the picture here, and that's my grandfather. I got this old bell here, but no description of what it is. And if it sounds in, I can... No, it won't ring because it's on these uh, platforms. And then over here... is an old rotary engine. F F6F Hellcat, Navy single engine fighter. Of World War II, vintage crashed on a landfill in 1945, and it was there until 1985 where it was discovered. These um, are the pistons, for those of you who don't know about motors, and this is the heads and the valve train. Pretty big pistons there. Uh, model here it is yeah someone offered to buy it but, uh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah like how much is that I'm like it's not, not for sale yeah. not for sale so this room they have a trainer um world war one this guy's probably the first like vr uh <laughs> virtual reality yeah, like video game hey, hey kids uh look at that xbox I mean, 360 yeah and uh, this, part this, one you know it's also <laughs> like one of four that's complete uh, in the country and they were able to get one really and it looks like it's still in really good condition oh did it actually you know? move and stuff yeah so it's got the motors in there it's got an on off switch wow and, this uh, you know cool. if someone knew how to tinker with this stuff I, I think they could probably still get it to work because i think it's pretty complete it's still got all this stuff in here that's you know? pretty so, pretty awesome uh, but actually. as you can see look how small that thing is man like you know i guess back then they were smaller because right now it's like you know it's, it's hard to fit in that unless you're a kid now, yeah. When you close that lid. I mean, you're not well, doing anything. You got to trust the instruments. Uh, that know, was so. for before the development of high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. Where man. everybody's walking around for a little extra poundage. Oh, man, what a gimmick there, huh? So, um, so all this stuff, radio equipment. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool stuff. A lot of training stuff. Yeah. So cool. here's more radio equipment. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. It's hard to keep track of all these like instruments of the, the, the time. Early airborne radar tube. Yeah. Uh, what is this thing? I'm just in some kind of transport. Intercom stuff. system. World War II. I don't know, man. It's, it, it looks, looks all definitely ancient. Uh, rudimentary stuff here. Yeah. yeah. No, no circuit boards there. And here we've got this wall of all the commanders. Okay. Um, all the way from 1934 to the last one in 1976. So all the commanders out here, um, you know, the one thing that all in common, they were all white and all men. All white and all men. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that was the time and that's how it was. And yeah. so that's this wall and yeah. Very interesting. Some of these guys look more serious than others, you know. Yeah, and they all look from that like, video. This guy doesn't look like he met the mess around with him. Yeah. But yeah, from that video we watched, like they all love being stationed here. <laughs> you know, and this was like the the, the best place to, to be stationed out of. And this is like the movies they used part of the movies they played. It or looks something? like they had some reels there, yeah. Interesting. The movie theater that was built in nineteen thirty-eight. Wow. Yeah. Cool. And, you know, you see some of these photos here, like, you know, very, uh, very uh, vintage, retro. I like that looks that like lot. the famous New York one, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the B-Day celebration photo coming back. Exactly. Look very nice. That's a very nice photo, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it has all the emotion. Is this a woman's... Uh... It, it looks like a petty officer pico type okay. of thing. Wool coat. Yeah. yeah, it says as an army, army nurse. Mm. It's a nurse's uniform. She collected numerous patches oh, okay. throughout many years. So these patches are all over the world, I guess, wow. huh? Wherever she was. That's pretty I, neat. Yeah. Like we made a movie high. about these guys. Yeah. I think that movie was like the. The red tails or something, yeah. right? Like, yeah. This is the building we're in, huh? So, yep. This is the big old bays, bay doors that we're standing right in front of, right here. Oh, uh, so these doors? Right here, yeah. And right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yep, and then you got all these uh, different uniforms. This guy's ready for Corona. Yeah, you know, exactly, <laughs> man. <laughs> Just, he's safe. Yeah. He's ready to go. He's, he's covered for a corona, monkeypox, whatever you can do. Yeah. Whatever is next on the radar. Oh my gosh, man. This is 1940 flight suit. And cool. tech sergeant. And this guy's going to a dance, looks like. <laughs> the Coast Guard stuff. They're out here as well. So. Yeah, they're still based here, right? Yes, right across the street. Um, but I believe they are moving out. So really? Um, yeah, they have something by Point Ray Station. So I believe these guys are heading out. Hmm. Very nice. This is Coast Guard. <laughs> she looks like a zombie. <laughs> 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 Master Sergeant. Gene Colby, Nancy Peters, I don't know, the mannequins are a little creepy. <laughs> What's with the bent propeller? Yeah, so these these are actually the crash sites. Um, every single one of these represented a crash site in the Bay Area, site in the Bay Area. yeah. Wow. So. Um, way more than I expected. And yeah, because I uh, know there's uh, on map. When I grew up in Mill Valley, I hiked on Mount Tam, uh -huh. which would be right here. And um, there's a canyon we call the Plane Crash Canyon because there's plane parts all over it. Wow. On Mount Tam Wow, okay. So you guys saw like all kinds of debris out there, the aircraft Aluminum debris, out there. debris yeah. 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 Some people had some uh, rough, rough crash land or crashes out there. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a landing gear out here, uh, propeller. 
And I read somewhere that Clint Eastwood served in the war. I think he did. Yes. And I, I've read that he also crashed a plane. Wow, okay. In Marin County somewhere. Oh, wow, well, okay. I don't know if it's true. Okay. If these are all parts. Yeah, from the crashes. Scary stuff. Yeah, man, I don't know. Things can go real bad. Uh, these crashes look like uh, pretty serious crashes. I don't know if these folks survived them or not, but yeah. um, a lot of debris from the crashes. Yeah, I see this whole yeah, case. Yeah, when things go wrong on a plane and you're a couple thousand feet up, uh, it doesn't make for a very uh, good feeling up there. Yeah, and this gun was um, retrieved from a crash. Pistol. Thirty-eight special. Hmm. They might even have a uh, in here of a Mount Tam thing. Officer hats, caps. Yeah. And models and awards. And what's that plane? How to identify American and Japanese airplanes. That's kind of a wild book well, there. If they're not shooting at you, probably American. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't know, most, Amer most amount of women Air Force officers out here. In the military? Yeah, out in Hamilton, yeah. A lot of women. They were the WAF, Women Air Force. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Like the 70s or 60s do there. Yeah, they had all these like cool uniforms, man. They looked very orderly back then, you know? It's like these uniforms and they're, they have like, you know, beauty pageants and stuff. Yeah, I'm noticing this. This uh, is these, a beauty you know, pageant. Fun stuff. Here's another wall of the beauty pageants. It's kind of, they had their fun out here too, you know? It's like, this actually looked like a really nice place to, you know, be stationed out of. Um, the weather is awesome and crazy, all the history. Mm -hmm. Huh. Wow. And there was a trigger mechanism that flew from Hamilton out of Hamilton onto the plane, and and uh, yeah, the trigger mechanism flew into Hamilton Field and loaded on the truck and loaded onto the USS Indianapolis, and, and it got installed on the Enola Gate. Wow. So you know. Yeah, that's uh, some crazy. Um, one of the pilot, one of the crew actually went to San Jose Middle School. This is like T thirty three A, a T six Texan, a F one oh six B Delta Dart. An F 104A Starfighter. That thing looks cool. Those are tiny wings on it. An F 80A Shooting Star. An F 101B Voodoo. An F 86D. An F 89B Scorpion. An F 84D Thunderjet. Uh, this is an A26 slash B 26 Invader. B 25C. Look at this one. Black Widow P61B P51 Mustang. This is the one my grandfather worked on. P43 P70A P39Q P38G P41 
T36G. P40B and P26A. I got this case here of all these photographs and patches and pictures of a hurricane and the U2. This guy required a tank of gas just to get to the altitude it needed to get to. Check out that patch. And those black and white pictures up there show the U2, the way it had to land, because it didn't have landing gear. And there's some metals. And then below here, there's more. Look at the helicopter there. And the hatch. I love that a shirt. Very cool. Whoever did all the model work around here is quite skilled. This is a Martin B-10B bomber. Military transport plane here. And of course a B-17. Check out this picture from 1937. Sign here says in July 1972 an F-106 landed fast and lost control after touchdown. This is an emergency radio. And flare gun. Another flare gun. Emergency crew members carried emergency equipment such as special knives to cut the parachutes. Life vest dar die maker or marker. Another cool patch. This is interesting. It says uh, 1920s arms rack. This rack held pistols on the top and rifles below, it was sec secured by locks. And this is some of the Nike missiles. I did a video about that. Check that video out. And this is um, top of Mount Tam. These guys were in control of landing the planes. More cool patches. And there is the uh, air traffic control tower.
I had to think about that for a minute. The building's still standing. A lot of these buildings have become businesses and things like that. But they kept the original air traffic control tower up, which is pretty awesome. Well, check this place out. This is all the old abandoned military housing here in Hamilton. So let's go take a walk around and check some of these things out. And as you can see, there is no one here. This is a Saturday afternoon. And I see no one. No cars, nothing. Uh, loving the uh, sign there. Danger asbestos cancer and lung disease hazard so these buildings are built with asbestos which if you leave it alone is fine but if you stir it up it's not so fine <clears throat> check out the old doors on these places this is pretty cool can't see nothing in there it's pitch dark I like the door though. But as you can see, these are all, all as far as you can see in this area, all military. And they haven't been vandalized, which is pretty unusual in this day and age. No graffiti. I mean, this is a, I'm officially on the um, Coast Guard property right now. But still, um, people, kids will be kids, people will be kids. You think there'd be some tagging out here by now. But there's nothing. It is kind of eerie. Reminds me of like a sci fi movie or something. Or Chernobyl. Definitely another good place that you could film a horror film. Come out here late at night. There's something about an abandoned building that gives you the creep factor. Nice palm tree there. That's a big one. So it's hard to imagine this was a bustling community at one time, but not so much anymore. So this area here is just beyond the uh, housing over there. And I don't know what this, this is a more modern building. But it definitely looks abandoned also. Probably some kind of shipping and receiving area. And some vandals did do some damage out here. Smash the glass. And I can hear in the distance, it sounds like they're doing some kind of auction. But look at all the... Um, palm trees maybe this is an officers club and behind it is a huge palm and uh, empty field blackberry bushes might be some good blackberries on these Ooh, look at that one that's a perfect one mmm That was a very good blackberry. Another giant palm bush. It's not really a tree, it's more of a bush. No trespassing government property. I don't think I'll be going anywhere near or in there. It's more blackberries over here though. Look at all these. You can eat them right off the vine. Oh my god. And they're warm from the sun. Those are really good. 
Look at them all. This is like a secret stash because there's no one around here. If these were more exposed, there'd be people here picking them all day long. Making blackberry pie and jam. Look at that cluster right there. It's all ripe. So anyway, man, those are good. I'm going to have to have another one. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with me today. Checking out a museum. Hmm. What's melting your mouth? The Air Force Museum, learning a little history of this ex-military base here. And it was very interesting, and this is all in my hometown. So, uh, again, thanks for coming along with me, and I'll see you on our next journey.